And so to combine what Charles and Jonathan just said, when Charles said, you gotta figure out what you need, if you need it, be it. If you need encouragement, encourage somebody. If you are feeling hopeless, give somebody else hope. And I'm such a firm believer in this. I've gone through periods of time where I have felt like I was in a, uh, a lack mentality. And, and there's so many out there, and maybe someone listening to this right now, that is in a lack mentality. Um, that situation where you feel like you've got more month at the end of your money, right? And I know that's cliche to say, but it's the best way I can say it. Um, but that lack mentality, uh, for me, it just it just hit me a couple of months ago. I had just purchased um, what is my dream house, put more money down on this house than I had ever, ever fathomed um, being able to put down as far as cash. Um, and it and it made me uncomfortable. Uh, and it and it I started to feel this lack mentality. What that feels like is is preservation mode, right? Preservation mode where you're you're wanting to conserve uh, or preserve what you have um, and not be abundant and, and work out of abundance and um, and what that does is it always creates a scenario um, that that you will always lack. If you have that lack mentality, you will always be lacking. To me, gratitude and giving both put you in the posture to receive. Because everyone hears that, you know, it's better to give than to receive. And, and that's a nice thing to hear, a nice thing to say. But, but when you really break that down and what that means, it's the act of giving. It's the act of gratitude for being grateful for what you already have puts you in that posture to be able to, to receive more. And it may not be in how they pour back into you, but the activity in the process of encouraging somebody else will bring you encouragement. If you don't believe me, try it. We always have something to be grateful for. But when you are stuck in that lack mentality, it just, it snowballs, it snowballs, it snowballs. And until you have to come out of it, you have to snap yourself out of it. Um, and a lot of that has to do with being self-aware, is being able to realize that you're in uh, that mentality, uh, which is what I did. And I had to snap myself out of it. And you know what snapped me out of it? And this is going to be interesting for me to talk about real quick. Uh, but what snapped me out of it was the act of tithing. Um, and, and I'm not gonna get on a soapbox here and, and, and become a preacher here for you and, and tell you that you need to be tithing. But there's biblical, there's biblical truths in regards to, to tithing, but there's also practical truths just in our everyday life when it comes to our business and, and our personal lives as well. But the act of giving, the act of giving ultimately shows gratitude for what has been given to you, but it also shows that you're in a place, that you're in a mental state of abundance because you know that exactly like Neil uh, Elliott just said, scarcity is not a good place to operate, that you know that if you are operating in a place of abundance, that by giving, you know, you know that there is more coming your way. You don't give because you think it will result in more coming your way, but you give because you are grateful for all that has been given and all the opportunities that you have around you. And so whatever that thing it is in your life that you know you need, like focus on that one thing and be that for as many people as humanly possible and you will find it. Either through them or through the process of being it for them, you'll find it for yourself.